Hello everybody, this is Machinxy, and this is Let's Play Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode we started Elden Volcano, and in this one we're going to be doing, well, quite a few things actually. First of all, we can drop down here, I have no idea what's down here to be honest. Oh, a treasure chest, that's useful. So, we just need a bomb. I was so close to calling it a bob on then. <laughs> bob, roll it into there, blow it up, and treasure chest. Ha! <laughs> I actually didn't know that was there. Awesome. Oh! New insect. Come on, I, can I catch it? Yes! Good. Elden Roller. Oh, sorry, I was quiet there, I just realised. These small body bugs roll a big ball of something. The way they basically roll stuff back to their nest is quite adorable. <laughs> oh, I love how it doesn't mention what they actually um, push along there. Um, but, treasure chest, is this 20 rupees? Yeah, 20 rupees. i say, normally it is now. Um, is that just a pebble? That does not look like... Oh, it's a mini pot or something. <laughs> uh, any more insects? I could do with some more. No particular reason, but meh, never mind. <laughs> um, now then, that that was a bit sidetracked because I I had no idea that was there. I just randomly saw it there. But um, what we actually need to do? Come over here, got this cube. So come on, there we go. So that is Goddess Cube number five. Um, I say I'm going the. I'm using the numbers that ZeldaDungeon.com uses, so um, if you want a list, go check their website out, they're really awesome. And, um, oh, Mokuma. Oh, I know, stranger. Hey, you're not one of those rare creeps either. I swear, this neighborhood's getting crummier every day. Huh? Oh, nothing. Just talking to myself. Hey, I saw this funny dressed character go into that hole over there. It might be the friend you're looking for. You want to know what, what this kook was wearing? Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the get-up was blackish. Other than that, I don't remember much. Okay, doesn't sound like Zelda. Could be, I suppose, if she's suddenly gone gothic. But, there's a piece of hat up there, we'll be getting that very shortly, actually. Oh, new enemy! I must admit, I have no idea what it's called, but, um, they just, they breathe fire to you. At you, sorry. So, um, yeah. You can't get past it unless you destroy it somehow, and because it's in the hole, you cannot use your sword. So, let's blow it up. <laughs> oh, so cool. I don't need a heart. Um, okay, just carry on then. Oh, Bockable End. Haven't seen one of these in a while. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh damn it. Oh, ornamental skull. Awesome. <laughs> I say, need as much treasure as possible. And can I please defeat the leader that's behind me? Um, oh, there we go. Um, hmm. I believe the next... Oh, it's this place. Okay, for this, it's the fire-breathing things, just in armour. So you want to throw a bomb right into the hole. <laughs> oh, so much fun killing them like that. Because they, they just freak out, wouldn't you, if you got a bomb thrown into your home or something? Oh, wait, I missed it. Um, come on. No. And... Is that it? Yes, good. <laughs> uh, does this give me anything? Nah, okay. So, we want to come back up here to circle around and get the heart piece. Oh. Elden Roller again. Um, as I say, if they're cornered like that, you can pretty much just run up to them normally. If they can either fly away or can jump off a cliff, then I recommend uh, going slowly. Hmm. Okay. Random shell. <laughs> uh, there's a seat here, so you can sit down and he'll help if you so wish. But not really necessary. But bombs. Now then, one of these creatures is in one of these shells this time, so you need to roll it in with the creature. <laughs> oh, this is animal cruelty. Um, <laughs> but, blow this up, and there's a blue rupee. So it's all worth it in the end. Um, there's the piece of hat here, to so make sure to get it. 
and um, yeah, two more to go. We'll not be getting that in a while, and I just need to check something. Okay, <laughs> just had to check something there. Um, right, can I? No, I'm not gonna fall. Actually, can I fall down? Yeah, it's safe falling down here. Okay, <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was safe to fall down or not. Uh, wait. No, why, why is that? No, uh, I need to concentrate more. Okay, so now we've done that, we can circle back around to here. And now for one of the most annoying parts of this game, quite frankly. Roll that across, making sure it doesn't hit any of the sides to get it in the lava. It is extremely difficult. Um, I, I struggle... I struggle with it so much. It doesn't help when I do things like that, though, to be honest. Um, okay, I'm going to have a couple more attempts and then just cut out until I do it, because I say it's quite boring. You just need to try and make sure it doesn't hit the edges, so doing things like what I just did then completely fails. Yeah, like that as well. <laughs> um, no, no, like that maybe? Because it doesn't have to be direct. Wait, is that? Damn it. No. When you get close, it goes into that sort of cutscene, but, nah. Um, oh wait, is that done? Oh yeah, I've done it. Awesome. <laughs> oh, I remember spending so long on that when I practiced this game. I literally spent now a quarter of an hour just trying to do that. Oh, I am so bad at this game at times. But the reason why you can't run across with the bomb is that them bones fall. So, be very careful with that one. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I just got interrupted for a second. If come over here, blocked by boulders, we cannot go that way just yet. So, we need to come down here. Uh, nothing around. I always do that just to make sure I'm not missing anything. But here, some air geysers. Jump up, and we can do the heart. Um, it is a big dive. <laughs> now, um, I want... Oh! Please tell me it resets me in the centre. Good, thank you. So, I'm making my way over here. Uh, you can use the, um... If you're, like, above a platform, use your sail clock to dive, to stop where you are. So, get that, and there's some Elden Ore. If I can... Oh, oh yeah, of course, that's a new treasure, isn't it? Yeah, so Elden Ore, by the name, um, it is just in this area. Uh, well, you can get it in different areas, but that's... Damn it, I've missed what I wanted. <laughs> There's a goddess chest over there. Uh, there is a way to get back up, though, and I shall show it in a second. Is it... Okay, no, it's that way. Yes, it's this way. Okay. So, if we can just come up here, it will... If, um... Is it? Yes, good. Okay. So, using the sail cloth, you don't need to press anything, it just does it automatically. That brings you all the way up here. And will it... Yes, thank you. Um, yeah, so back here, so we can do the big dive again. Um, it's extremely useful, just in case you miss things, like I did. I missed that goddess chest. And I, I also missed a couple of other things, but the most important thing is the... I mean, goddess cube, not goddess chest, sorry. Um, no, whoa. Why? Okay, now I'm just... That was weird, I went into some sort of dive. I've never done that before. I suppose if it, it's if you point the Wii Remote directly down, but I didn't think I was doing that. Eh, uh, never mind. Um, okay, I'll have one more attempt and meet you if I, um, meet you at the Goddess Cube if I still fail it. Um, but, yeah, this, it's not too hard, you just got to get a hang of diving. And there will be a mini-game later on to do with diving as well, so you need to get the hang of diving a bit. Um, so, come on, thank you. Whoa, and yeah, yeah, I just did it again. There we go. Oh, thank you. Um, I believe this is it, though. Once you've got these two, the big dive is done. I'm just going to check. Okay. Um, now, you want to get over to them bomb flowers. Can I... Yes, good. Okay. Um, I just had to check there was, no... there was something else to do. You want to throw it over at this wall and... There we go. It'll blow up to reveal a treasure chest. <laughs> I love it when they include secrets like that, because generally there's not many secrets in this game. But when there's just something like that, it's just so amazing that they've done it. 
Oh, Golden Skull. That is a new skull. Um, oh, I forgot to mention. Elden Ors, you only need seven in the game. So, yeah, it's quite... Mm, not many, but still quite a bit, really. There are other platforms you can land on, none with much of importance on, but still, it's it's something. Is there anything... Oh, is it... Now then, where else... Oh, wait, no, no, there is only two entrances, isn't there? I'll save here just in case it logs it as, like, a... Oh, wait, it won't, because it won't let me go to the sky. Never mind, I've saved it anyway. There's a bird statue there if you feel like saving. Um, now then, down here. Ah, dig points, and it looks like there's something up there, so we might be getting the item to do that soon. Grr, those creeps just shimmied on in and took over our territory. Ah, yow, what are you doing? Don't be sneaking up on me like that. Huh? You're looking for your friend. Can't help you there. Nobody's coming through here, so... Maybe they went up to the mountain from that over that away. Ah, wish someone would chase those clowns out for you. Okay, so, obviously with any enemy, you need to destroy them. But, that is interesting what to do. As you see, there's a leader there. However, this is an amazing place to grind for ornamental and golden skulls. Um, if you if you delete, defeat the original amounts, because there's quite a lot of first, really. Can I... Oh! No! There we go! And... Oh! Come on! Oh! Yes! Ornamental skull! Awesome! Um... Yeah! Wait, was that an actual ornamental skull? Oh! Uh, as you can probably tell, there is another Ockerblin... Oh, come on! There we go! Thank you! As you can probably tell, there's another Ockerblin leader in here. So... Yeah, there's multiple to deal with. Uh, did I? Yeah, it was an ornamental skull I picked up, wasn't it? Yeah, I thought so. Uh, yeah, you just heard it then. Um, Wackerlin leader, extremely annoying, but it's useful to grind on ornamental skulls if you want to. Uh, I won't be, but it's it, more because of the let's play, really. I don't want to be spending too long in each place. So, as I say, they'll infinitely spawn until you get rid of this guy up here. <laughs> um, oh, come on. Thank you. No, no. Honestly. Oh, wow, I forced him off. Um, oh. No. There we go. Oh, oh, golden. Awesome. <laughs> so, I've got an ornamental skull and a normal uh, um, skull. I mean... An ornamental skull and a golden skull just missed. Wow! You took out every last one of them! Yeah, awesome. So, what, two rupees. Uh, can I... There we go. And... Is there another... There are some things in here. Isn't there? So, I'm a... Uh, no, I know the way. Yeah, I know how to get them. There's that treasure chest up there. And a couple other things, but we can't do anything with them just yet. You're a warm tough customer, thanks for all your help. I don't blame you for not knowing this, but us magmas always honour our debts. Let's only give you something to prove it. Any special requests? Rupees or way forward? Let's not be greedy. A way forward. Oh, right, you're trying to find your friend, aren't you? In that case, take these things. There's something pretty special if I say so myself. So, we get the digging mitts. Use these sharp claws to give, dig through patches of soft earth. Be sure to try to dig in with A anywhere you see signs that something has been buried in soft ground. With these, you should be able to get to the top of that ledge right behind me. Just try digging in the hole below the, below the ledge. You're in for a surprise. I just hope your friend hasn't been captured by the red guys. Here's hoping everything's okay. Okay, so, yep. Five ornamental skulls, three golden skulls. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm doing this, I'm trying to keep track of all the treasure I've get, I get, just so I know when I've got enough um, for all the upgrades. But, you can dig there and dig here. Now, 20 rupees. Elden ore. Blue rupee. Extremely useful. Um, there's two ways to go now. Uh, to be quite honest, I can't remember which way to go. Um, oh, wait. Um, okay. I need to face the right ways, at least. So, that looks that looks like it's way to exit. Oh, okay. I definitely want to be going down this way, then. Um, I want to be going down this way, because this works. Let's... Oh, an amber relic! See? Oh. 
See, so many treasures just lying around the place. It's amazing. Um, this way lets me get the treasure chest. So, extremely useful. And leap, leap, leap. Oh, okay. <laughs> there is a Bokoblin. There we go. Oh, come on. <laughs> if you miss, you actually take quite a while to recover. Um, there we go. Anything? Nah, just, well, hat hats, I suppose. Useful, I suppose, maybe a bit. <laughs> um, anything else? Oh, digging patch. Blue rupee, blue rupee, blue rupee. 15 rupees, okay. Oh, another. Uh, anything? No, guess not. Okay. Um, there are now three holes to go down. I cannot remember which one's which, to be quite honest. But there is a treasure chest somewhere on one of them. So I'm just going to be going down all three. Just just for fun, basically. This one, nothing. Okay, so I shall now meet you back up there at the top. Okay, I'm now back up here. And what do you say we try the second one? Just for fun. Because I'm pretty sure this one has nothing in it either. But still, just for fun. Oh no, this is the right one. This is the one you want to go down. There is a treasure chest up here. Containing... Probably just another Eldin Ore, to be honest, but yeah, just another Eldin Ore. This hard concre concretion sparkles brightly. It also has lots of different uses. Okay, so that is number three. Wow. Three out of seven isn't bad, really, considering we've only just started getting them. There's also this that I missed earlier. Ooh. Um, oh, I didn't, I didn't actually know this was here. Wow. Twenty... <laughs> Two Eldin Ores. Two! That is amazing! I never knew you could get two in one. Wow! So we've now got five out of seven. And, by the way, I just looked down. That's why I was just going in a random direction. Five out of seven Elden Ores. Well, that is amazing. I say, some treasures are really easy to get. Others, however, are a bit more difficult. Now, anyway, I'll meet you back up there just to get down the third slide. There's probably nothing down there, but... There's... Actually, no. No point cutting out, really. I'm right here. Honestly, I'm, I'm stupid sometimes, I really am. So, third slide, just for fun, because this one does have nothing in. <laughs> but still, just showing it's there. So, now we've gone down the left path, we can now go down the right path. This way is the actual way to go, so you do need to go the left path first, if you want all that treasure and rupees and stuff. There are these flame thrower guys, whatever they're called. Oh, magma! Ha! What? You scared me silly. You can't just start digging right above my head, you know? But I guess where you're coming from. You never know what you're going to find when you dig, so it's impossible to stop. Rupees are the most common treasures, uh, treasure you'll dig up, but sometimes you might even score Elden Ore or some hearts. So if you run across a hole and you've got time to dig, ta got the time, dig, dig, dig. Ha! <laughs> Very useful advice there. Dig, dig, dig. But, we can actually go in here and dig, dig, dig. This is just for hearts. So, if you need hearts, there's three in here. Not entirely useful for me, but still, it is something. But here, two, uh, seven, eight, eight rupees in total. <laughs> oh, I love little things like that. Now, here, bomb flowers. So, all them little creatures we couldn't destroy a minute ago, we now can. And there we go. Whoa! It hit the fire, so it exploded on me before it actually managed to hit uh, the guy, well, the enemy, and no. What? That wasn't it even. Come on, why isn't it? Oh, no, 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 okay, I'm just running. I'm not trying to pick it up when it's that close to exploding. Okay, why wouldn't it let me kill this guy? Here we go. Yes! There we go, I knew it was possible. Oh, nothing. Ha! <laughs> Didn't even give me anything, honestly. Okay, you just want to do this for all of them because... A, it's good getting them out of the way. And B, it's... They could have treasure... Well, not treasure necessarily, but rupees. So it is useful. Um, there are multiple of these enemies. About, I think, four. Is it five? Can't remember, to be honest, but there's multiple amounts. It, they're easy to get rid of, though. Oh, oh, green rupee, not worth it. Oh, cracking the wall. I nearly forgot about this, actually. Awesome. <laughs> um, there are certain secrets in this room. 
uh, well, and it's intact. Cave, really, the secrets. Um, so, let's blow that up and see what it gets us. Probably another random treasure. <laughs> another welding ore. <laughs> so, let's just try it out once this stops. Oh yeah, this episode's going to be a bit longer. i cut a few things out, though, so it shouldn't be too much longer than normal. I just want to get... Oh, silver rupee! 100 rupees, awesome! This is another good reason to get the wallet upgrades, and well, especially the medium wallet and the extra wallets, because I've got 307. I've already maxed out the small wallet, so it's extremely useful to have the extra wallets and medium wallets, because I can still carry another 1,100 nearly. And... Oh, nothing. Wow. Uh, there should be another crack in the wall somewhere that... Oh, fire. Okay, guess I'm going back to the bombs then. <laughs> As I say, it's a bit repetitive and sorry about that, but you need to do it to get everything in here. Right there. Oh, that... Oh, wow. I'm surprised I still did that. Okay. Oh, come on. Can't I just get round this one? Oh, there's two more. Oh, bombs here. That's useful. Um, I swear there's one more secret uh, which you can explode. Well, bomb a wall for. I swear there's one more. Or maybe I, I could have gone up, gotten them all already. I'm not certain, but I didn't think I had. Um, okay, where's this one? Okay. I say this. It's more just OCD right now that I'm clearing them all out. But this one does actually have a red rupee behind it. That is good. Um, no, there does only seem to be that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's all the secrets there. Um, obviously on the map you can see that that one's hollowed out. That's where the three hats are. That's where bombs are. And more bombs there. Just for a bit of a reference. Uh, but I, suggest, I suppose we'll just continue. I see it's the end right here. First of all, however, <laughs> Amber Relic. <laughs> one, two... Three, four, five, five rupees from there. Uh, what about this one? One, six, seven, uh, twelve, oh, seventeen. Seventeen rupees, wow. Um, nothing really in the grass, I suppose. Well, uh, rupees, but one, six, seven, oh, seven, okay, not bad. Um, eight, nine, I suppose. But, here's the actual thing we want, a geyser up. So, in the next episode, I shall be going out up here and into more lively areas. So I bid you all farewell. Bye.